I'm really proud of the East Effort program. It's a program that started in 2021 out of the extreme need in the pandemic. We had to figure out a way to reach these communities, provide support, access to testing, access to support for isolation, uh, access to vaccines. And in that moment, we realized that it was the community themselves, the neighbors, the folks that lived in the high rises that were calming people down, that were speaking the right language, literally and metaphorically. We created the Community Health Ambassador Program. I have been living in the Flemington Park for more than two decades. I retired in 2017 and then started uh, volunteering in the community. I joined Flemington Health Center as a, a community health ambassador meet uh, and uh, started doing the vaccine engagement work. Flemington Park and Thorncliffe Park originally had some of the lowest vaccine rates. And through the Community Health Ambassador Program, we actually got above the city of Toronto average. We're really proud of that. We brought clinics to the buildings. We went to the shopping malls. We went to the doors of the people. I've been living in Flemington for 30 years. So, now, I know I am the president of this building in Flemington. During COVID period, they approached me and they told me to bring a, a pop-up uh, medical center here in, in the building, in the area. And it's very important for the communities to have these uh, opportunities to have you guys come in and be able to do everything locally. So. We made aware of them of what is available and connected them whatever they needed, be it food bank, be it mental, mental health support. Well, uh, for example, I have some mental health issues and uh, I've been guided uh, through, through this program I've been guided uh, to several different services that are available. One of the main reasons why the community health ambassador model has been so successful is because the community health ambassadors, they have lived experience in the community. The community trusts them. There was a huge impact there. So the trust that was already there because of neighbors became also a trust in the system. Trust and understanding that we have this enormous set of assets in our community that uh, we now need to leverage. So I think the other thing with the East Effort program that became critical is the group of partners that came together was a larger group of folks that were endorsing this program. It is uh, governed by a group of community uh, residents and service providers. We uh, disperse the funding throughout the neighborhood to grassroots groups. So this model, it need to be replicated, you know, not only in this community, but also in other equity deserving communities to, uh, in order to uh, uh, bring them, you know, the up to speed in order to help them get the services that they really need. So we've continued to build on the work that we did during COVID uh, with our community health ambassadors and have moved on now to other types of program services and outreach to community. We are currently doing a survey on equity using health ambassadors to actually go door to door and ask people questions about um, basic equity details, demographics about them, but also about their basic basic health needs. I'm 71 and I, I still, you know, I would uh, love to serve my community and I don't find any better way of serving my community 
then uh, continuing with my uh, role as a community health ambassador because this makes a lot of difference in the health and well-being of my community.